the very moment you have an idea, you wonder why you never thought of it before. It's almost like a penetrating glimpse of the obvious. <laughs> Suddenly, once you've figured it out, it just seems so obvious to you. And then you wonder why other people haven't figured it out. And then you, you almost feel that this can live because it's real. An idea is something that hurts inside and wants to come out really badly. And it like ruins your life until it actually pops out. This place, I think, is uh, pretty much rampant with them. Idea, idea means something people have just begun to get and they want to try to shape it up and solidify it. And what we see at TED is this pressure cooker of people who love to spread ideas. That's why they come. They come because they want to hear the next idea and spread it. I have absorbed uh, more new concepts uh, than I absorbed probably in the prior year alone. I've been accused of having ADD, but this is a place where you're going 18 minute lectures on the black hole. It's like, okay. I've never been in quite a, a place like this, and so I underestimated the power of the sort of overwhelming power of having all those brains in one place and how inspiring it can be. Let's have the lights down. Are we ready? It's time for TED. Being up on the stage, doesn't matter if it's 350 in the audience or not, it feels like it's thousands because it really is this intimidatingly crazy space. But I gotta tell you, it really is a loving atmosphere. People here want you to do really well. When you're sharing ideas, and suddenly you are more than the font of the ideas. I mean, you are like a preacher. And you can almost feel a transformation in them. Suddenly they're saying, wow, this is really interesting. Wow, this is the most interesting thing I ever heard about. Wow, I love this idea. What's amazing about that group is there's nothing in the way. There's nothing in the way of their passion, of their intellect, of their contribution, of their desire to get out in the world and make a difference. There is nothing in the way. There's people here like Ben Zander, who you desperately want to meet in here because they're so brilliant and so insightful. And the second are the, the surprises, the people you never heard of, the ideas you weren't expecting that come out of left field and change the way you think about looking at something. If anybody just stays in their own little world, uh, they miss maybe the right way to affect the rest of the world. So usually people are in their own field locked up uh, like a frog in a well. Here it opens up them to a new avenue of interaction, of knowledge, of wisdom, and of experience. When the experts rise to the challenge of doing this, they actually surprise themselves. They actually learn something more about their own subject. They learn something more, in particular, about how to convey it. This opens my eyes to a new way of, of articulating something I knew, but I, I didn't yet know how to make it unforgettable. All of life is just about the conversations we have with people and the new ideas that stimulate us. I mean, the conversations happen between the sessions at TED. There is a level of intensity that's just a, a little, a, a few steps above anything I've experienced before. And I think the TED format of having the, the main auditorium and the mingling rooms uh, really strikes a nice balance of informal networking, which is one of the best parts of being here. And I think that's how those great ideas get generated and shared. I mean, you can lie down on these lounge seats and beds and be with the most incredible people and actually just walk up to people with your ideas and see if they have any connections or people that, that really can help you to get things done in the long term. A lot of people think that design is easy, it's simple, but in fact design is a highly iterative, emotional, physical, deeply engaging process. And uh, that's not taught so much in places where it needs to be taught, like business schools and in the boardroom. When will this invisible world of information, you know, this all this computer, virtual, the conceptual, the algorithms, when will they become as real to the average person as dirt? I'm waiting for that, or dirt. Really, how do we bring the best conveyors of ideas, powerful ideas, 
and get the world to see it from the best person to see it from. Well, the technology is here today, whether it's going onto a YouTube site or the TED.com site. It's clear that, that we, we desperately need new vehicles for the dissemination of important ideas, and we need platforms where the very notion of an important idea are celebrated. The university systems are essentially calcified. One TED talk online and suddenly I'm a professor speaking to hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, how much more efficient is that? I'm here to meet my friends, uh, my co-risk takers, and I'm on this rampage to say to people, take more risk. TED is about releasing power, intellectual power, emotional power, and the power of contribution in the world. So my job is just to open the, the lock and let them out. This is the song they played over the loudspeakers in Tiananmen Square during the revolution. This is the song which they played in Berlin when the wall fell down. This is the song to the possibility that human beings are, and I say that's who you are. I guess those of us that have been around Ted for a while call things like this Ted moments. <laughs>